one thing we can do is talk about a comic that is coming out next week. Uh, our friends over at Mad Cave sent a review for the Dark Empty Dark Empty Void number one. This is a new book from uh, Mad Cave, as I mentioned. This is written by Zach Kaplan with art by Chris Sheehan. I think that's how you say that. I apologize if that's not the case. We're colored by Francisco Segala and a letters by Justin Berth from Manual Design. And we do have a variant cover from Christian Ward. Uh, so this comes out in, in the next coming week. So let me give you a quick synopsis, and then we'll go around and talk a little bit about the comic. Uh, in this book, scientists have created a stable microscopic black hole in a secret underground compound. But when they lose control, the black hole spews out a cosmic maelstrom, strange, dangerous creatures, and most surprisingly, a mysterious human teenage girl now a depressed but brilliant psychologist must help her strange husband and the other scientists solve the mystery and close the black hole before it consumes all of Earth. Dare to witness the cosmic horror that will amaze and terrify you with this comic book. Um, yeah, I mean, first of all, black hole on Earth, that seems like a bad idea. <laughs> uh, but, uh, what, did, what did you guys think of this? I'll start with you, Clay. I dug it. It was a great setup because it it starts off with the black hole and then kind of brings you into a lab so you can tell that it's inside. And I love the setup. I love the idea that like some like a, a person has come out of this and we don't know what to do. Like I always think about the Hadron Collider that's always running and you go, what happens if, you know, shit just goes wrong? You know, what would yeah. happen? And so the idea of like a person coming through it and trying to interpret who they are and, and just communicate like that's just in the first few pages. And that's great. I love that. So yeah. uh, about the only thing I will say, the only thing I did not like is the trope we've seen many times of we have to call in this person who's also my ex, but is also a <laughs> also the perfect person for this job. <clears throat> That trope. I don't like that. We've seen that in so Ooh. many different kind of disaster films like Twister. <laughs> Twister. <laughs> it's interesting. Do we just that? call it I the feel, Twister trope? Yeah. I feel like this one is more like who the only person available to like, you know, like the most okay. convenient. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Oh, there, oh, there, but yeah, it does feel I I I agree with Clay, but also I do feel like, yeah, it was kind of an immediacy thing, somebody that we could trust. Uh, yeah. And then if you've ever tried to like, oh, we need, like, if you've worked in corporate America and you've ever been like, we need to hire somebody for this, you know, it's going to take six months to a year before they fill <laughs> right. that position. Uh, right. So and it, it we, really is kind of like, who do you know that can come in and fill <laughs> this position? How do we get somebody now? So, yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. Well, Jeff, we might as well keep going with you. I know you, I just caught you drinking water, but. Uh, what did um, you think of the book? Who says it was water? Uh, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, Jeff, Jeff, the bad boy of comics over here. <laughs> Straight vodka, baby. <laughs> um, I'm, it took it took me a few. It took me about half the comic to get into the comic because okay. uh, I wasn't sure what kind. You know what what we were. You know, indie comics can go any kind of different way. Yeah. as you read them so you're just like what what am i getting myself into uh but then once i was hooked i was pretty hooked and i was upset because i was like i don't want to add another comic to my pool yeah uh, yeah. Same. uh yeah so um usually that's that's a good uh good for the good for the comic bad for me uh yeah i thought the art was fantastic it really yeah. felt real to the story that they were trying to tell um i love the mystery of like this this entity, even though they call it a teenage girl, but clearly it's not a teenage girl that came across uh, the black hole and how they have to, you mm -hmm. know, figure out how to shoot, you know, shut it down or whatever. Uh, I'm with Daniel. It's just probably not a good idea to create a black hole in general. Yeah, um, I, I look at all the bad ideas that could go wrong with this and I go, but they found a team that would fund it and work there. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, like everything, there's just no way 
to figure out how to stabilize and control that, it seems like you would just have to, I mean, you would have to feel so safe every single day. I mean, that's I would 100% of... throw a ham sandwich into it, though. <laughs> <laughs> and it just spaghetti apart. <laughs> yeah. I would be ironically watching Interstellar in one of those monitors. <laughs> Uh, but Jeff, uh, Jeff, uh, Josh, what did you think of that book? So I, I, I was not into it for much of the issue because I just I feel like so many indie comics these days have this same kind of conceit and approach. But once they revealed who the person that came through the portal was, I was like, oh, well, this is cool. I dig this. So. But that they hint at it and that that's what they yeah. named her, but she was trying to say something. So I think maybe her name might be something else. Oh, interesting. Well, yeah. it, it certainly, it certainly grabbed me. And so like Jeff, I was, I got done and went, ah, oh, crap. I'm going to have to add this to my poll list to see, or I'll just wait till it's collected. But, um, but yeah, I was, I was into it by that point. I agree. The art is beautiful. If any artist drawing a comic today can make me stop and look at a panel carefully to see if it's digital or hand done. Yeah. Uh, the art is great. <laughs> and this one yeah. made, made me do that, especially with the, uh, that opening shot of the black hole. I was the like, black hole looks like, like it's painted, right? It yeah, exactly. Like and I was like, God, is that digital paint or <laughs> is it like on paper? You know, I was like really trying to look yeah. carefully. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty I, sure it's digital. I, yeah. I've read, you know, uh, probably a handful of mad, uh, mad cave. It's Man Cave, mm -hmm. right? Publishing. Yeah, yes. yeah, this is probably the best book I've read from them. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's I, cool. There is one other one I, I picked up. I remember I talked about. Is it down here? Hang on. Yeah, they're doing a lot of really fun stuff. They're, got, they're celebrating their 10 years. Uh, while Josh looks for that book, uh, I also really enjoy this. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of, of Zach, uh, who's the writer on this book. Like, he, he did the Kill All Immortals book that we read. I don't know if it, I think, well, Jeff and I read it for sure. I don't remember if everybody else read it uh, about the the immortal Vikings that are running a succession. Uh, oh, style yeah. oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, um, and, and, and a lot of sci-fi stuff good. like that too. Uh, but what I really liked about this one was when we got to these few pages about uh, you know. And we're getting into like depression, and then we see like, oh my god! I thought this was gonna turn. I thought this was gonna go really dark in a different direction. That way, yeah. went, right? Yeah. Uh, especially with these pages here. And I was like, oh my goodness, what's about to happen? Uh, because these these three pages, they all just talk about depression and, and stuff and how to deal with it. <laughs> and obviously, interesting enough, like she's very qualified to talk about it. But then you get to her. You know, it's like you go to your personal life and sometimes you don't even follow your own advice. Uh, uh, so I thought that was very interesting. And then, yeah, you know, once we get into everything, uh, I really, really enjoyed it. So uh, I'm looking forward to this. It's only going to be five issues. So so like Josh oh, mentioned, okay. like whether you pick it up now uh, or you, you can go, um, you know, wait for the trade. Um, I did. I was able to get the first issue. Ooh, and look at the that. Christian Ward cover. Ooh. Um, so that was fun. Uh, it doesn't happen very often, but yeah, this will be these will be available uh, coming up uh, next week in your shop. So make sure to check them out. Uh, do you guys have any closing thoughts on Dark Empty Void Number One? I would say no. it's it's <laughs> it's worth just kind of getting and getting to the end and seeing if it yeah. if it if the seeing hook really, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember gave a lot of one indie book. This is it. Yeah, I think yeah. the Mad Cave book I was reading was uh, Dick Tracy. That's oh, what, that's yeah. right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they're doing some really they did, fun. They stuff. did Flash Gordon. Uh, they did You've Been Cancelled, which I had to look at my little thing to see what Mad Cave oh, books okay. I had. They're they're doing fun stuff with some like franchises, like they're doing yeah. Gotcha Man and uh, and Flash Gordon stuff. Uh, so yeah, really cool. I actually I need to go read uh, Flash Gordon number two, but uh, yeah, go check this out. Go check out some of other Zach's books. Also, Christian does a lot of horror stuff too. Uh, and I believe 
I believe they're local to Texas, Austin, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, oh, okay. Yeah. So, and just to close out, let's check out these covers once more. <laughs> 